Hi, my name is Shane McCarthy, and I am a senior at Hawaii Pacific University studying political science. For my senior capstone project, I looked at the relationship between sports and female political candidates being elected to Congress. My research question was, do female athletes have a greater chance of being elected to political positions? I have looked at a lot of previous literature. While there is plenty of evidence that men and women are elected at the same rates, women still experience lower levels of political ambition. This is due to many factors, including that while women have equivalent qualifications, skills, and experiences compared to their male peers, they believe they are not qualified and lack confidence in their ability. Additionally, female potential candidates are less competitive, less confident, and more risk adverse than their male counterparts. Women also react more negatively than men to many aspects of modern campaigns, such as fundraising, voter interaction, and dealing with the press. It has been shown that sports can help bridge the gap in political ambition and teach females the traits needed to succeed in the political sphere. Sports has been shown to develop and encourage a competitive attitude. Sports has also been sh shown to build confidence and self-esteem in women and girls. It has also been researched that sports leads to future workplace, workplace success. Additionally, sports provides many social benefits such as how to work with others to achieve a common goal, how to work with different types of people, and how to be assertive. However, there is a gap in the literature as there, as there is no or very minimal research on current female political leaders who have participated in sports. My theory was that female participation in sports is a positive determinant of leadership and achievement. My hypothesis was that if female political candidates were or are athletes, then they are more likely to be elected to Congress. My independent variable was female political candidates who have participated or currently participate in sports or athletic activities. And my dependent variable was if female political candidates were elected in the 2018 congressional election. The Center for American Women in Politics, also known as CAWP, is a unit at the Eagleton Institute of Politics at Rutgers University, had a data set that included the 256 female candidates who participated in the 2018 general congressional election. With the information I gathered from CAWP, I created a spreadsheet with the candidates first and last names if they won or lost the election and if they were or are athletes. However, to determine if the candidates were or are athletes, I had to individually research the 256 candidates. I had a procedure that involved typing their names into Google. Some candidates had a personal website used for campaigning that had a biography, which could be used to see if the candidate was an athlete. However, oftentimes the biographies would not specify if the candidate was an athlete and further research was necessary. I would turn to profiles on the candidate, which would often discuss early life, mention extracurricular activities the candidate was involved in during their high school and college years. This would include sports and athletic activities. If a biography or profile of the candidate was not available, sometimes the candidate would have a LinkedIn account that would state any or current or past involvement in sports or athletic activities. As a last resort, I would search the candidate's name and the high school they attended. If the candidate participated in a sports team through the school, sometimes there was a record of that. At this point, if no information was available on if the candidate participated in sports or athletic activities, they would not be considered an athlete and I would move on to the next candidate. The limitations to the study should be acknowledged. It is a possibility that other candidates were athletes and that information was never included in any of their biographies, profiles, or resumes, or I simply never found that information. Furthermore, there was more information available regarding candidates who were elected to comp to Congress compared to those who were not. Being an elected official in Congress garners media attention, and there was more information available regarding those women. All elected Congress women had a government website containing a biography in addition to their personal website used for campaigning. Most of the candidates who were not elected have previously taken down their personal campaigning websites. 
While there was some information published during the initial campaign regarding candidates who were not elected, it was difficult to determine if some of these candidates were athletes. I performed a two variable tabular analysis out of the 256 female political candidates in the 2018 general congressional election, 116 candidates won and would become congressmen while 140 lost. There were 224 candidates who were not athletes and only 32 candidates who were athletes. 19 of the candidates who won were athletes compared to 13 of the candidates who lost. When a correlation was performed, there was a 10.68% chance that athletes were more likely to win elections. I performed a logistic regression on the data and the hypothesis was not supported due to the p-value being 0.091. For future studies and the most accurate results, this study should be done during an election year and the candidates should be asked directly. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation.